Good morning class. This week we are talking about the life cycles of plants and animals. Plants and animals are living things so they grow and change just like we do. Only they, depending on what they are, a plant or an animal, their life cycle might look a little bit different than ours. Today I'm going to read you the story Zinnia's Flower Garden and it's a book about the process that happens when you grow a garden. And this book is written and illustrated by Monica Wellington. Spring has arrived. Zinnia is getting her garden ready for planting. She digs up the soil and turns it over with her shovel. She takes out stones and rakes the dirt smooth. The warm sun feels good as she works. And you can look on this page and you can see all the tools that she uses. She has a rake and a trowel and a shovel and a wheelbarrow and fertilizer. Zinnia carefully plants many kinds of flower seeds in rows. She covers the seeds with dirt and pats it all down very gently. She sprinkles the ground with water. <gasps> So I think we just heard what we need if we want to grow plants. We need seeds, and we need dirt, and we need water. And it shows over here that she's planting cosmos, black-eyed Susans, and asters, and sweet peas. So if you don't know, those are types of flowers. Zinnia waits for the seeds to sprout. The seeds need the sun to shine the rain to fall, and many days to pass. It is hard to wait so long for her seeds to grow. So sprout means that they are just starting to come up out of the ground. So, so far they have not done that yet because they need more than one day. Every day Zinnia checks her garden to see if anything has happened. Look, the first seedlings is poking its way up through the dirt. That means that it has sprouted. Now if you look really closely at this picture, it shows that even if you can't see something above the ground, there are changes. So here's the seed on the first day, then soon it starts to grow some roots, then more roots, its stem starts to grow, and then finally it pops up out of the ground with leaves. Now Zinnia's garden is full of green sprouts growing toward the sun. Little stems grow taller, little leaves get bigger, little roots burrow deeper into the earth. Zinnia takes care of her garden every day. When the sun is hot and the soil is dry, she waters her thirsty plants. She pulls up pesky weeds that try to crowd out her plants. She inspects them for greedy bugs. She measures how tall her strong and healthy plants are growing. Every day they get bigger and bigger. First thing in the morning, Zinnia runs out to check her garden. She is excited to see little buds growing on many of her plants. She says, my zinnias have buds. I wonder what color they're going to be. And down here, it looks like she's taught, she sees that there are some eggs on her plants. And pretty soon those eggs hatched into a caterpillar. The caterpillar um, formed a chrysalis and then out came an adult butterfly. And then at last she finds what she has been waiting for, the first flower. One bud has bloomed, how beautiful, and what a sweet smell. There are many more buds that will open soon. The garden grows and grows with blossoming flowers. Zinnia paints, reeds, and picnics among them. Butterflies flutter, bees buzz. Zinnia's garden is her favorite place to be on these warm summer days. Her flowers are abundant and Zinnia cuts some to arrange into bouquets. The fragrant scents of the flowers swirl around her in the warm breeze. One hot summer day, Zinnia has a lemonade stand and puts up a sign, pick your own flowers. Customers come and gather bunches of flowers and drop money in her jar. So she's selling flowers from her garden. 
and they buy those flowers with the money, like what we learned about last week. In the autumn, as it gets colder, Zinnia picks the last flowers from her garden. She finds ripe seeds that have formed. They are ready to be collected. She will save them to plant next year. So right here, it shows that it goes from flower to seed. And then the seeds fall out or they float away and then, then you can collect them. The winter days are short, the sun is dim and the ground is covered with snow. But Zinnia is already planning next year's garden. When spring comes, she will be ready to grow her very own flowers again. And that's the end. I want you to be watching because right now there are changes that are happening outside. I know that there's still quite a bit of snow, but the days are getting longer and warmer and plants are going to start appearing. I want you to watch for plants as they start to grow in your yards. And many of you might be planting plants at your homes. Watch that process. You might even consider getting a journal where you can chart the changes that happened. So Zinnia with her flower garden, she had a journal where she drew pictures, she drew diagrams of what was happening with the seeds and how many days it took for her seeds to grow. So she'd say day one was the day that I planted the seeds, then on maybe day six, the, um, the plant starts coming up. Once your plant starts coming up, you can measure your plant every so many days to see how fast it grows. If you're growing more than one plant, you could compare how fast tomatoes grow in comparison to maybe cucumbers and see if there's a difference. I really enjoyed this book and I hope you did as well.